Hello everyone in peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and let us have some good time I will try not to look at the, uh, at the chat just to let you know because the chat will make my video extremely long and I'm trying to make it shorter for people to download uh, you know a Muslim he sent to me a message saying okay well uh, Muhammad is a false prophet uh, Quran is a funny book for you so how you explain to me that the Quran is full of things nobody knows save Allah and you know for me like he got a point there I mean there's things nobody knows save Allah so I said okay I will make a video about it he was nice actually he did not call me names you know that's why I'm making this video to him kindly so how come there's things in the Quran nobody knows save Allah if Allah is a false God uh, if Allah is uh, you know uh, you don't like false God he would say stupid things you know right but uh, false God and he knew what is going on that doesn't make sense this is his point so he spoke about you know he gave me a link a video of uh, the embryology in the Quran and he said can you refute this hmm. now for sure if you go and search in uh, in YouTube you will find millions of videos talking about this topic but just you know we, we will make it uh, it's funny I say short right I insist to make it short but let us see how short let us see how much the claim of Muslims match what is the Quran saying if we go as an example to chapter 22 verse number 5 and this is the Muslim translation if you don't want this translation we can change it I mean all of them they are false translation but I'm using yours so if you don't want it like you know what is the most famous translation like this is big tal we can go to Yusuf Ali if you don't want this one I remember all of them they are stupid translation for me so uh, Allah he in the Quran here he tell you that he created you uh, how he created you and you will notice right away the Muslim they bring for me and actually in the, in the video it shows a book of a guy his name is uh, Dr. Moore Dr. Moore was invited to Saudi Arabia and he got big check uh, so he can promote Islam but the funny he did not convert to Islam I mean this guy he don't you know I mean how in the world you say the Quran is an amazing book saying amazing things yet you don't believe in it I mean that's funny right so the whole point is Dr. Moore saying, and this is what Dr. Moore he used actually, or the Muslims they gave him. They said to him that Allah, he said, he made then he out of the sperm, then out of a leech, like a clot. This is what they told him. But in the Arabic, there's nothing is called like, it says, we made you from a sperm, drop of a sperm, then into a congealed dead blood, then into uh, uh, like, uh, um, you know, a piece of meat, you know, like uh, not solid, not too soft. Okay, but just to show you the corruption of the Islamic translation, I'm not going to change the translator. Notice with me, I will not change the translator. But take into your note that the same guy, he says, we made you out of a leech, like a clot. I will take a snap a screenshot for it. Let us highlight this thing here. Just to show you that even the same translator is so stupid to maintain his translation. Okay, I will take a screenshot. And here actually we noticed uh, too, that Allah, he says, Allah he is the one who can manifest to you what inside the womb. Allah, he can manifest to you what inside, and he is the one who decides what is going to be inside the womb, which means the decision of is going to be male and female. And here it says that. And we cause whom we will to rest 
in the womb. And again, this is the Muslim translation. For an appointed time. Okay. And we are the one who manifest to you what is inside them too. All right. Wonderful. Take a screenshot. Now, I'm not going to change the translator. I will use the same translation, Yusuf Ali. Then we go down. <laughs> Just a chapter, next chapter. Look what Yusuf Ali, he said about the way Allah, he created the baby. Where is the, he made you like a leech? Do you see the leech? It's gone. Do you see like a clot? It's gone. I mean, let us put the two translation together. All right. So here it says that then out of a sperm, then out of a leech like a clot. Do you see it? What happened to the word leech? It's gone. What happened to the word like? It's gone. This is the verse. Then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood, which is dead blood. What happened to the dead blood here? You see, the two verses are using the same words. It's not like, you know, here it's, uh, you know, look, it's exactly the same word. Nutfa, alaqa, etc. So what happened? What happened is very simple. <laughs> When you are a liar, you cannot repeat your lie twice same. Simply, I mean, you see, if a person telling me about how he went to the, the to the market and he forgot something, I would say, but this is this is Quran. I mean, this is word by word. If I want to tell you about my journey uh, you know, to Germany, I might forget something. I might mention it later. That's normal for a human being. But we have a book in front of us, and we are translating a book. Here there's no clot. Here there's a like a leech, then out of a leech, like a clot. Here there's no like a leech. There's no leech at all. Here it says, and we made the sperm a clot of a congealed blood. So what became a congealed blood? The sperm. Which science is that? Go and read any science book you want, and you will find that this is really stupid. But just to show you that the Muslims, when they hire Dr. Moore to write a book about the amazing Quran, the Muslims, they choose the wrong person. Because Dr. Moore himself, he have another book. And in another book, he said the following. In his book, it's called, uh, what is the name of the book, hold on. History of Emb Embryology, issue 374, volume 195. This is a book written, copying what Dr. Moore, he said in a previous book. What Dr. Moore, he said. <laughs> he said, the Arab, they are good in everything, in many things, in many fields of science, except embryology. And he is copying the Quran. He is copying what the Quran is saying. Saying that the Arab were good in many things, but they were not really great help when it's come to embryology. This is the same doctor. The Muslim, they keep repeating his name wherever they go. So Arabian science was a success 
or they have a success in many fields, according to Dr. Moore. In certain branches, was not of a great help to embryology. <laughs> and he was quoting the name of the doctor to prove his point. His name, as you see in the screen, Levy, has collected for me the following embryology concept in the Quran. And even he mentioned that this is stupid thing is coming from the Quran. So where is your Dr. Moore? And then he quote exactly what we see in the screen, which is coming from the same chapter we are reading. The semen into a clotted blood. Then we formed the, uh, the clotted blood into a morsel of a flesh. Then we created the morsel into bones. And this is the translation they are using, given to them by Muslims anyway. So I advise the Muslim to stop talking about Dr. Moore because Dr. Moore is the first one who gets you busted. But because he is a hypocrite, as many, in order to get a check, he made a book saying the Quran you speak about something true. And what they use in the translation, it was made like a leech, like a leech. When the Quran, as you see, and this is his own words, in his own books, agreeing with it that this is wrong. Islam was not really great. The Arab saints, they were just, you know, just, uh, justly, uh, 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 like, they have a success in certain branches of science, but was not a great help to embryology. Why? Because they trusted the Quran. So when a Muhammadan he bring to me this, I laugh. I feel sorry for you. This guy is a fraud. A doctor, he don't change his mind. Science is science. Today I write a book says the Quran have an amazing discovery and tomorrow I write a book that says the opposite or vice versa. Either it's bad or good. Science. However, you know, why we're gonna waste our time with Dr. Moore or Christian Prince or, you know, who knows the Quran and what the Quran meant more than Muhammad himself? Nobody. Do we agree, guys? Who can explain what Allah he meant in the Quran more than Muhammad? Nobody. What do you think? Do you think there's anyone is capable of explaining the Quran more than the Holy Prophet with the 13 wives and one of them she is two foot tall nobody so if we go and check the link for Dr. Moore actually I found this uh, here this is an Arabic uh, page uh, this is an article written by somebody about the, the, the uh, about the book of Dr. Moore. Um, I can uh, find you the link. Hold on. This is where I get the copy, I mean, for the, the book. Let me see. Uh, shorten link. Because the title have Arabic, so it doesn't go through uh, Google. Okay, I will shorten it for you. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me know, please, if it if the if the link work. What you need from the whole link is the images of the books. All right, the images of the books. You can go and search on yourself. For me, I did not do that because there's no need. I mean, it's there. But this is the the link. You can search for the exact page in Google Books because they got it from Google Books anyway. It's free, um, and you can find the reference. Does the link open, guys? Let me know if it's not working. So 
instead of going, you know, maybe Christian Prince is not telling the truth, maybe Dr. Moore is telling the truth, maybe, maybe, maybe. But who knows the Quran, what the Quran meant better than the Prophet himself. You know, the second I say the Prophet, I feel I want to cry. It's very good.